Hey, this is Samantha here from RecipeThis.com and the voice behind the popular kitchen gadgets podcast, Magic with Gadgets. And also one of two that is the cookbook creators of the number one bestseller for the air fryer. And today I wanted to talk to you about how to make a cake in the air fryer. We've already shown you how to do a chocolate cake. We've shown you how to melt chocolate. Uh, through our videos and now we want to talk about the traditional sponge cake or as many of you call it a pound cake you probably wonder why it's called a pound cake well the answer is simple because it's made from equal pound portions of ingredients so it's a pound of sugar it's a pound of butter and it's a pound of flour and if you're on UK measurements, uh, well, I can mix between the two, but if you're normally just grams, then a pound is the equivalent of 200 grams um, or thereabouts. So if you did it as 200 grams, 200 grams, 200 grams, three large eggs, a bit of vanilla and a bit of milk, and you've got a delicious cake that you can cook in the air fryer. And then you can add things to it and make it even more delicious like you could add in some lemon juice and then you've got a lemon cake. You can add extra vanilla for a vanilla cake and it's just brilliant. And I think the big purpose of today is really showing you how long it actually takes to cook a cake in the air fryer and what an air fryer cake looks like. And it's just one of those brilliant ones that if you're new to baking and you want to bake in the air fryer, or if you even want to know, can you bake a cake in the air fryer, then we can show you how it's done. So I often get asked, can you make a cake in the air fryer? So I want to show you today exactly how it's done. Obviously ingredients are already measured out. So you want to start with some butter into your bowl. I recommend having it at room, uh, room temperature because otherwise it can be very difficult to mix. I have mixed it before when it's not and honestly it's hard work. And then, of course, I remember once um, going to a baking class and rolling out uh, rolling out icing, like the fondant icing, and it was hard as nails. Honestly, it took every might in my body to actually roll it because it was so hard. So after butter, add in the sugar. And then a good hand mixer is perfect for the job. This is our new Kenwood one, but you can use anything else. I, I, on our air fried chocolate cake recipe, we've actually used the Thermomix because it does a great job of just throwing everything in and doing it for you. So let's get mixing, shall we? And now it's nicely mixed and you can tell by how soft it's gone. I mean, let me show you just how soft that is. I mean, oh wow. Isn't that perfect? It's just absolutely lovely. One egg in. Two eggs. And the third egg. And then once you've added in your eggs, and only adding the vanilla at the same time, Oh, and I'm just in love with this vanilla. Unfortunately, you can't just get it anywhere. This I actually brought back with me from Mexico. And I just love it. So I kind of do about two lids. And then once you've done that, I'm going to add in a tiny little bit of milk. But then we're going to probably add a bit more milk in at the end as well. Depending on how thick it is. I always recommend when making cakes that you use whole milk. Um makes a difference because if you've got skim milk in it's very thin is the milk um so it'll change the consistency of your cake batter and then start mixing it again and then and i'm gonna give it a quick check with the spoon and then we can add in the flour And then 
normally give it a quick mix first with a spoon. And then I finish it off with the mixer because a good mix at the end can make your cake so light and fluffy. And then mix it back on. And then last bit, a bit more milk in. Cake mix. I mean, isn't that amazing that you can just do it that quick? And that's what I love about the traditional pound cakes and such like, is that it's so easy to remember your ingredients. And then one last mix. And wow, you've got perfect cake mix there. And it's just perfect now for loading up for the air fryer. So this is the cake pan that I actually recommend for using for your cake in the air fryer. Um, this is what we actually used during the testing of our complete air fryer cookbook. And we've also used it a lot before that and since then as well. So what's great about the silicone is it doesn't leave you with a dirty cake pan to scrub you also don't need to line it you don't need to grease it it's just amazing and it's perfect for those lazy moments when you want a cake but you just don't want all the scrubbing that goes with it and there you go that is your cake mixture ready to go in the air fryer oh and let's start some controversy shall we Raw eggs, are you a bowl licker or not? I am, so my kids. Kids have never got poly off it. You know, we were all always taught how to do it with our grandparents. God help us if our grandparents didn't give us the bowl to lick. But nowadays, you're not allowed to do stuff like that, are you? So let me know in the comments, are you a team uh, bowl or not? Or is it straight for washing up? Now let's get rid of those marks. And then there it is, it's ready to go in the air fryer. It's a bigger cake mix than the one in the cookbook, so I'm going to add on longer. So, I'm going to start with 25 minutes at 160 Celsius, that's uh, 320 Fahrenheit. This is to get it going, and then we're going to increase the temperature and add some foil on top to finish it off and then press start and we've beeped so should we check on this cake hmm i wonder the main thing is how much is it risen by because of all that self-raising uh, flour we use let's have a look oh wow can you believe that that's a, that's a cake in the air fryer so far but of course the issue with air fryer cakes is that because it's in a container, it's not cooking all the way around, which is what air fryers need. So it means things like cake do take longer than something when you compare like, for example, a whole chicken in the oven versus the air fryer. But I just love how delicious an air fry cake is and how moist it is. It, is, it does taste much better in an air fryer. So now, grab yourself a big chunk of foil. And then this is a really long roll I've got and it doesn't really suit the air fryer. And then you want to be tucking it in because you don't want it blowing round your air fryer basket. So just make sure it's nicely tucked in and then it'll be fine because you're wanting to avoid a black look on top which is very easy to achieve when it's a vanilla cake rather than a chocolate one. So once you're happy with that and the positioning of the foil in the air fryer, then it can go back on. So now you're looking for another 20 minutes 
this time at 180 Celsius, 360 Fahrenheit. So now the cake is finished cooking in the air fryer, we want to transform it into a sprinkles cake. So you need to wait until your cake is fully cool before you can add icing and then we can add the best bit on top of the cake. So we've let the cake rest for a little while so that it can cool down and then I can show you how amazing this silicone is because honestly it's the best. So use silicone to make cakes in the air fryer. Oh wow, I mean look at that, look at that, yeah, I mean you know that has to be appreciated just how easy it is to get out and then look at that, there's hardly any marks on it, it's so easy to clean and then you turn it over like that and you've got the perfect cake and then you could um, double batch um, if you were using this to make a big birthday cake if you wanted a high birthday cake we have done this before by the way if you search on recipethis.com for birthday cake you see the different variations we've done and then just like a, a cake maker would you just trim the top off like that put two of them together or if we're if we're keeping it to this size how about you trim it in half like that and turn it into a victoria sandwich and in our complete air fryer cookbook we do just that and we show you how to make a victoria sandwich out of a sponge and isn't this sponge amazing i just think it looks fantastic and i'll tell you now it's really really moist as well and you know it's in our house it's fight over gets it who gets it and if it's iced, you can guarantee that Sophia will eat all the bits off it with the icing on and just leave the rest of us eating the sponge. And then those sponge leftovers are brilliant with some pink custard, going back to old school school methods. So there you have it. That is how you can make a cake in the air fryer. And remember, if you wanted to know, can you make a cake? You know how to make it now. So head over to Recipe This, search cake, and we've got loads of recipes for you to choose from. And we also have cake in our complete air fryer cookbook. I mean, oh, the picture of our rocky road is amazing. You'll just love it. So first, uh, mix your icing and you want it of thick consistency because you don't want it going all sloppy over your cake. And then what I do is I use a cocktail stick to get the food colouring out. It's a brilliant way of doing it. And then I always say to my daughter, Sophia, who loves playing with colouring, is just add a little bit at a time because you can add, but you can't take away. So as you can see from that mixture there, it's like it's like a pastel coloured pink. So now go back in, grab yourself a bit more, and then you can actually mix with the cocktail stick. And it's a great way to get it in. So as you can see, it's getting some lovely colours to it. And you don't have to fully mix it either. So if you want it more like face painting style, then you can. Still not pink enough for me. So let's add in some more. So then use your cocktail stick to separate the colouring. And then get it in there. Oh, I've used it so much my cocktail stick is broken, but I think I'll be able to get away with doing the rest of it with a spoon. So then give it a good fast stir like that. Oh, and that's a lovely shade of pink. Then keep mixing your food colouring until it's of the right colour that you want. I love that. I think it's a lovely colour. Oh wow, brilliant. So then once you're ready, pour it over your cake. I mean we all love different levels of pinkness on ours, don't we? And some of us don't want as much icing. We've done a good amount here. So then 
tilt it and then we'll go again to the other side and tilt it round I'm just going to give it a little extra help there the spoon look you've got perfectly covered now cake so now for the best the fun bit Add as many or as few sprinkles to the top of the cake that you want. Oh wow, I think this cake looks absolutely fantastic. Does this remind you of childhood school dinners or what? I think it looks lovely. So then, shake off the last few bits. And now you want to put it in the fridge for a couple of hours so it could fully set before you slice into it. Oh, I just think it looks lovely. Can you believe that came out of an air fryer? So we've allowed the cake a bit of time in the fridge so that the icing can set better. And wow, look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? So I think it's time I have some. So you can start going around the edges of it. Free of any bit of icing that's stuck. And then you can peel it back. Let's see how this cake's doing, shall we? And wow, that's not really not bad on the container that. I'm loving the look of that cake. I think it looks fabulous. So let's slice it up, shall we? And then you could have it into little slices like you had it at school. It's totally up to you how you have it. Oh. Don't forget to check out the complete air fryer cookbook made from 10 years of air frying experience with lots and lots of air fry beginner recipes. 140 recipes are included and they're just so easy to follow with plenty of step-by-step -step instructions for all the key recipes so that you can become a master of your air fry. I know you'll love it and it's just £10 on Amazon. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter as well as following us on Pinterest and Facebook and joining our Facebook group. We are also on TikTok now so don't forget to follow us at TikTok forward slash recipethis.